Um, hey, I'm Gillia Taylor. I am at Spinnaker on the couch, and I'm going to play a song called If I Was off of my new record, Songs for Late at Night, Volume 2. Thank you. Here. I used to do more of a folk sound. I did a little bit of rock, you know, as rock as I could be um, <laughs> for a little while, but yeah, it's what I love to hear, so it's what I like to play too now. Um, you said you've been doing music since you were really young. Did your family, were they big into music? or? Yeah, uh, my dad is, uh, he's a, a musician, he plays everything. And he taught me uh, my first piano chords and my first guitar chords. And then he just kind of lets me do, or he let me do what I want to do. And then when I would have questions, I'd come ask him and he'd help me out. So uh, I, I didn't really have formal training in anything. I just, you know, kind of went, went with it. And when I needed help, my dad helped me. That's usually the best kind of training. <laughs> yeah, it, it's, it's worked for me. Although there have been times where I wish I could pick up a, a book and just, you know, play out of it, but it's all right. Um, so are you from Destin originally? 
Yes, I grew up uh, in Niceville, across the bridge. Okay, I know where that so, is. So, yep, tiny little town, nice people. Um, so typically, like, people kind of associate Florida music with, like, rock music. Um, but do you think where you live has influenced your music artistically in any way? I don't know. Almost, well, it, 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 might, it might influence in a way that I kind of rebel and want to do the opposite. of You know, my town is full of really great musicians, and I love, love them. I'm friends with lots of them. But it's, you know, we have, like, bluegrass and folk and rock bands and, uh, like, that reggae stuff. I don't know, like, it, you know, I, I don't even know. Obviously, I don't know the right words. I love all those guys that play that music, uh, but I, I always want to be different, I guess. So I, I enjoy being the quiet, uh, strange one in my town. Um, so what kind of ideas or feelings do you aim to convey or to convey to or evoke from listeners um, with Songs for Late at Night, Volume 2? Oh, uh, with this record, I really wanted to uh, reach out and um, make the listener pay attention, which is really hard to do in music these days because we're oversaturated with, you know, lots of music and lots of great music, and then we have so many other things going on that to take a moment to actually listen to music, it's just rare that we do that. We have something else happening all the time. So my goal, uh, was just to, to reach out through the record and uh, pick the listener up, put them in my spaceship, and take them somewhere else entirely. Speaking of spaceships, um, I read that your <laughs> album was sci-fi inspired. Are there any like specific sci-fi movies or literature or shows or anything like that that's inspired you? Yeah, uh, let's see. I've um, I was uh, greatly uh, influenced by uh, the the TV show Fringe. I loved uh, Peter Bishop and Olivia Dunham, and so I, I wrote a love story for them, actually, on the record. It's uh, track five. It's an art. So okay. that's about them. Uh, I used to read a lot of sci-fi when I was little. My dad gave me lots of sci-fi to read, and I don't even remember the specifics, really. I just remember that I loved it. Yeah. Um, and then just what kind of artists have you been listening to lately? Like, what have you been kind of digging lately? Whether they're new releases or mm -hmm. older, uh, I just the most recent thing I bought uh, is a single by uh, Doug Burr. It's B U R R. It's uh, I've been I was just singing it on the way here. Country girls in city dresses. I love that song. There's a few songs on that single, and this year I've listened to uh, the Shins. You know, just let's see what else have I listened to. Oh, Jeremy Enoch, of course. I've listened to a lot of Jeremy. Uh, he's the singer for the old band Sunday Day Real Estate. Oh, okay. So those are a few that I like right now. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Yes, um, thank it's you. great to have you. Thank you, Erica. Thank you. Gilia Taylor again. I am still on the couch and uh, I'm going to play my last song. This is a song called Going Home. Good. 